I didn't know that the text typing effect in uh, jQuery in JavaScript could be so ridiculously easy unless I created uh, created it. Hi, this is uh, Mohit Manuja and today I'm going to show you a ridiculously easy job, the text typing effect. Let's begin. Now guys, I'm actually using CodePen. It's, a code, uh, it's an online code editor that is uh, Emmet enabled also you can uh, simply include the jQuery latest jQuery version uh, from here from the drop down menu itself okay and what's Emmet? Emmet is a Chorus's package or a plugin so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, recreate this project from the very beginning so I'm gonna destroy everything that is inside the HTML panel and also everything inside the uh, JS panel, the JavaScript panel. Okay, so this is the you know the preview area where things will appear. Okay, let's start. So H1 or H2, and then tab. So basically, uh, whatever I wish to see typed will get pushed inside the opening closing H1 tags. Next, make sure that you get inside the JS panel and you link up with the latest version of jQuery. Cool. <coughs> Next guys I'll create a string. So var, str or whatever you would like to see there. I am gonna teach you the typing text effect. Okay. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break apart each and every character each and every letter of my string we have in <coughs> JavaScript the the split method so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say var uh, split is equal to str str stand, stands for the string uh, that I've just created okay and dot split but I'm gonna split it based on uh, something and that's something I'm gonna keep as empty strings when you in you know use empty strings out here what this basically means is I want to separate each and every alphabet including the spaces if I say something like a space then it's gonna break apart each and every word wherever it actually finds a space is gonna break it or I can also break it apart something like this you know you can use something like a comma out here so wherever it actually finds a comma is gonna break the sentence there but if you don't mention anything at all this actually means is uh, that you wanna break each and every individual uh, alphabet separately <coughs> I can also comma separate and uh, mention a number something like this which means that I would want uh, only the first first four pieces but that's not the case so I'm just going with I would want the whole string to be broken apart anyways so and guys if you want to be sure that I've done it properly then let me alert it alert the split and let's see what this actually gives me yeah there you go you can actually see that it's each and every individual character comma separated so basically it's an array now split is an array okay cool <coughs> next guys uh, what I'm gonna do is let me use the set interval method interval method guys I'm actually mingling uh, jQuery and JavaScript together which is just fine because what exactly is uh, jQuery? jQuery is nothing but a JavaScript library okay set interval and this is the syntax just need to correct my spelling out here set interval okay and function a function block and let's say I would want to run my function block after every 100 milliseconds okay so whatever code uh, goes in here 
gets executed every uh, 100 uh, milliseconds. Let me show that to you. Mm. In fact, it will become very clear very soon. So let's uh, let's not show that to you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dollar sign. In fact, let's cr create a variable. Variable h1 is equal to dollar sign h1. So basically, targeting the only element, the only empty element that we have on the HTML panel, opening closing h1 tags. Okay. And then, guys, what I'm going to do is uh, let me say h1 dot append. <coughs> so we have uh, append and prepend methods in jQuery that allow you to add some content uh, within the tail. You know where the tail is or where the head is. Append is where you where the tail is actually. Okay. So some content will go out here, but let me create that content for you first. Okay. Even before that, let me create a variable called counter and let's make it equal to a zero and let's take this counter outside the set interval method so let's cut it from here let's declare it here rather okay that's better okay and I'm saying that you append to the h1 but the split arrays first alphabet <laughs> what's that okay actually just fired immediately okay <coughs> now <laughs> if you're surprised what's happening out here is simply uh, in fact I'll temporarily disable the jQuery I need to do that otherwise the code will go on firing <coughs> okay now what's what's getting appended to the tail of the h1 within the h1 see it gets appended uh, to the tail but still is within the h1 okay within the tag or the element split zero split zero is the first uh, alphabet of the string of the array split okay which is i so uh, it's going to append the letter i to h1 after every uh, 1000 milliseconds let me show that to you once again okay right oh let's say no library okay but then what I'm saying is counter which was initially zero uh, let me set it to plus plus basically increment the counter by one and instead of saying split zero out here I'm gonna say split counter now what's gonna happen is counter is first gonna be zero then it's gonna become one two three and four why because I'm incrementing the variable counter out here as simple as that okay but then out here I'm actually pushing in an, in an if conditional and actually I'm saying if counter I'm doing a check is equal to is equal to str dot string dot length so whatever the length of the string is so I would want <coughs> to check the length of the string so basically the number of characters or alphabets used inside the string right so I would want you know the increment of the counter to stop when the counter reaches the string length, the total length, the total number of alphabets inside the string, I would want uh, that it should not increment anymore and the set interval method should break or you should come out of the set interval method. How do you do that? You use the clear interval method. So clear interval. But clear interval what? Interval clear interval SI. Now what is SI? I'm going to explain that to you. I'm going <coughs> to... Sorry, excuse me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable SI out here and I'm going to make it equal to the set interval method. Okay, you can do that. And then out here I'm actually saying clear the interval set interval. That's going to break the looping and that's going to make sure the counter does not increment nor does, uh, you know, the up the append process to the h1 happen any further so that's gonna break out of the loop and that's when everything actually stops okay so it is that ridiculously easy this count increments from 0 to 1 to 2 to 2 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 till it actually becomes equal to the string length and when everything just 
comes off the loop. So let's uh, do a final check by linking it up back to the jQuery library and let's see whether everything has been just done correctly which indeed uh, it has been and you can see the the typing effect just carried out itself properly if you want you can play around with the value if you want to increase the value let's say go with something like a a 200 so it'll go doubly slow now which indeed it slowed down okay because every letter is in typed after uh, 200 milliseconds right so people uh, don't you think that creating the typing text effect in uh, jQuery in JavaScript is so ridiculously easy. I hope you found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.